Well, we are about halfway through Hispanic Heritage Month, and tonight we are taking a closer look at Sacramento's Chicano art movement and ABC 10's Laura Painter here. Laura, <laughs> by the way, welcome to the show. Thank I'm so you. happy that you're here. <laughs> <laughs> me as well. But yep. you're here with me now, and you talked to some really powerful women who are using art and activism together, and I, I absolutely love it. Yeah, that is so true, Alex. So poderosa means powerful in Spanish, and that is exactly really exactly what these women are. A women-led mural project called Sacramento Poderosas is a community-driven project grounded in social justice, highlighting local Latinas and Chicanas and their contributions to our community. We got a sneak peek at the mural still in progress and talked with the Poderosas about its meaning. Check it out. Oh my God. This mural really just portrays that I'm a product of all these women. Larger than life and standing proud, these poderosas, or powerful women, have dedicated their lives to change. Two poderosas, Margarita Berta Avila and Alma Elizabeth Lopez Flores, are seeing themselves on this mural for the first time. I feel emotional right now, you know, just, just um, thinking about it because I know that I know m much of the story of these women, what they um, have contributed to the community, you know, what um, they have shared of themselves to be able to really address the, the issues that are so prominent, whether it be in education, immigration. This mural is dedicated to preserving the history of Latina and Chicana women in the Sacramento Valley, fighting for racial, political, and social justice. Women including Margarita and Alma. Alma's standing right next to me, you know, in the mural, and she was a student that worked with me. She was a student organizer, and to see what she's doing is like another full circle and to have been able to stand next to her you know in this mural depicted in that way was an honor for me. More than 60 women were nominated to be portrayed here. For the nine chosen it was a humbling experience. One of the reasons I decided to 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 say yes to the mural is because I know some of the young women uh, that I work with uh, nominated me um, and I definitely want to show that you know yes we can love unconditionally um, but we, not, we can also receive love and for us to give ourselves permission to do that. You see women of all ages from all walks of life who are still active in their communities today. We're definitely not a static community and no, neither are we monolithic. Just as the Poderosas are diverse, so is the mural's striking symbolism. A lot of the symbolism really come from the, the women themselves on what, how they wanted to be represented, how they see themselves. The Poderosas countries and cultures are represented in their clothing and in the stacks of books showing colors of different Latin American national flags. This stack of brown books even represents the different skin tones of Latinas and Chicanas. There are so many women that are do doing a lot of great things, but they're not, they're the invisible stories that are not being told. Art as Power, lead muralist Ruby Chacon says this work is flipping traditional Western narratives on their heads. It's gonna make people question what they've been told for all this, this time. And so and questioning it is, is, a, is a great tool to like changing things. And that includes changing ideas of women's roles in society. Debunking those myths as well as far as images that hypersexualize women, particularly brown and black women, right, in, in media and issues of um, objectifying. And when you objectify, you, you attempt to control what is there in front of you and saying, this is how we're going to see you, this is how we're going to position you, and thus it's going to allow others to treat you and position you in that way. Poderosas tell me this mural takes back that power. Women showing how they want to be portrayed, giving women courage. That courage is going to get other women to speak up. It's going to allow other women to also be vulnerable. Courage and power are themes in the Chicano art movement, which scholars say started about 60 years ago. And murals play a big role. Murals like this are a statement in themselves in how they are made. I think the beauty of, of doing murals is that it's a collective effort. Dignity, justice, and compassion. Themes seen here in big, bold colors, telling the story of Sacramento's Poderosas in their own words. The, the modern butterfly represents a lot of the transformations that we all go through. Is this a full circle moment for you? 
I think it is, you know, if you're going to put it that way, right? It's like, it brings a lot of love and peace, you know, to me in that knowing that this work is continuing on. To have the opportunity to have this mural right here, it, it puts at the forefront that we're not going to allow that anymore. Absolutely beautiful. Mm, right? I, I never heard of a mobile mural. That's really cool. Yeah. But how is this funded? Yeah. So I don't want to forget anyone because there's a lot of support for this project. It's a really, really a great thing. It's funded by Smud Shine Program, also the California Humanities, and that's a nonprofit partner of the National Endowment for the Humanities. And then Dr. Enrique E. Figueroa Gente Chicana Soymos Chicanos Fund, and the Sacramento Arts and Culture Match Program. So a lot, a lot of, of love, people. A yeah. lot of support <laughs> for sure. But what is it? going to be ready i think that's the question that everyone's <laughs> waiting for me to ask <laughs> right yeah it's going to be ready i mean soon so they anticipate february they're going to have a ribbon cutting they suspect at that time and they're not sure where it's going to be yet but there's a lot of forward pieces with this and everyone's going to get a chance to see it because it's going to be mobile it's going to be out there in the community and they're not done yet they're going to have some more educational materials that they're planning as well so lots right, to go right. well thank mm -hmm. you so much yeah. well, of course you. we'll keep you updated